In this video from Learn Electrics, we will take a look at part 6 of the wiring regulations. The exam is based on your understanding of how to use the book, not on how many pages you can remember. We will be working to BS 7671 18th edition amendment number 2. This is the big brown book and it will be the only book allowed in the exam. If you have the book, then please do pause the video at each of the questions and follow along. Part 6 of the regulations does not teach you how to test. This is not part of the scope of this book and is covered in other books and videos. You will not get questions on actual test procedures in the exam. Part 6 does discuss the methodology, the intent and purpose of inspecting and testing electrical installations. You should expect about four or five questions on part six of the regs. The method shown here does not rely on memorizing regulations over hundreds of pages. Instead, we show you how to understand and use the wiring regs book to find the answers to questions quickly, easily and consistently. And using this method, you will not need to use post-its or sticky notes. Let's begin by finding part six in the regs book. Make page 3 your starting point. This is the main contents page for the whole book and learning how to use this page will get you to the right answers easily and quickly. Part 6 is about halfway down the page. You will notice that chapters 61, 62 and 63 are marked as not used. The information that they contained is now incorporated into chapters 64 and 65. We should go now to part 6 on page 230. Part 6 begins on page 230. This is the inspection and testing contents page. It has much more detail than page 3. Learn to find this page quickly. It will be your friend in the exam. Chapter 64 is all about initial verification of an installation. What tests to do, what certificates to issue, etc. Chapter 65 is about periodic inspection and testing, the frequency of testing and reporting of results. You must understand this. There is only ever one initial verification for an installation or a new circuit. This is the very first checks that it gets, the first inspections and the first tests that it gets before being handed over to the customer and put into service for the very first time. An installation cannot have two initial verifications. Initial verification will require an EIC or Electrical Installation Certificate to be issued. A periodic inspection and test is different. If it is not an initial verification, then it must be a periodic inspection and test that is carried out. This will need an EICR to be completed, an Electrical Installation Condition Report. An installation can have multiple EICRs. Regulation 642.1 on page 232 tells us that inspection shall precede testing. We always inspect first and test second. A good inspection may reveal problems that need to be rectified before the testing begins. And this often comes up as an exam question. Let's look at some questions now. The first question asks us to put four tests, one, two, three and four, as shown below, into the correct sequence for testing. And this is another popular exam question. For the four tests shown, put them into the correct order for testing and then choose the answer that shows the correct order. We have all the help that we need on page 230, the inspection and testing contents page. Shown here are the four tests in the correct order. Match these up to the numbers that are given in the question. This is the correct sequence 3, 4, 1 and 2 and we should choose answer B. Moving on to question 2 now. Which of the following are part of the inspection process during an initial verification? And four potential answers where only one is correct. Pause the video and have an attempt at an answer. Look at the possible answers. The clues are all there, just waiting for you. Which answers are tests and which ones 
are inspections. The question is asking for an answer about inspections. Initial verification, as mentioned in the question, is chapter 64, and on page 232 we will find regulation 642.3 indent 2. Only identification of conductors is an inspection. We can look and we can inspect to see if they are the correct colours or numbers. So choose answer B. Choices A and C are tests and obviously not correct. And answer D does not apply in this case. Question 3 now. We are asked how often should an initial verification be carried out on an installation? Pause the video and attempt an answer. We talked about this just a few slides ago. Looking at page 230, initial verification is chapter 64 and it might be a good idea to start our search in the general section, regulation 641. Let's go to page 232 and take a look. And here is our answer, regulation 641.1 before being put into service. Now we can choose our answer from the choices offered. Choose answer A. And on to question 4 now. Following the connection of the equipment to the installation, an insulation resistance test shall be applied between the two live conductors and the protective conductor connected to the earthing arrangement. The test voltage applied should be... and 4 choices. Go to page 230 and we will find under chapter 64 a list of the different tests. Regulation 643.3 is about insulation resistance tests. On page 234 is regulation 643.3.3 .3, and there is our answer. The test voltage to be applied is 250 volts DC. A popular exam setter choice for questions. So our answer then is C, 250 volts DC. Moving on to question number 5. How many measurements of insulation resistance shall be made of a floor or wall in order to comply with the requirements of the regulations? Pause the video and have a go at this common question. Back to page 230, the contents page. And there is regulation 643.5 insulation resistance and impedance of floors and walls, just what the question is asking about. Go to page 235 now to find the answer. Here is regulation 643.5.1 and there is the answer. At least three. Answer C. Now question six. Here's the question. An existing installation that was designed and installed to a previous edition of BS7671 undergoes a periodic inspection and test. The installation, and then four possible statements to complete the sentence. This question is about periodic inspection and testing, and we should know now that this will be chapter 65. Let's go to page 239 and find the answer. This answer is a little harder to find, so do try and remember that lots of useful information is often tucked away in the notes and small print. They make excellent question material for exam setters. Regulation 651.2, note 2, will give us the answer. And our answer choice is A, is not necessarily unsafe. Question 7 makes an appearance now. Following a periodic inspection and test, an electrical installation condition report shall be issued to who? Pause the video and give the question a try. Checking on page 230, the contents page, we know that this is going to be chapter 65, periodic inspection and testing, because it says so in the question. And there, under chapter 65, is an entry reporting for inspection and testing. This is a periodic inspection, so we do not issue certificates, we issue condition reports. The answer will be in Regulation 653 on page 240. Regulation 653.6 .6 has the answer. We should give the completed report to the person ordering the report, 
which isn't always the same person as the occupant. Our contract is with our client, the person that is going to give us that big fat check. Nobody else. If the occupant wants a copy of the report, they must get this from the client, not from you. And the Institute and local authority have absolutely no interest in condition reports. So our choice is answer D. And lastly, for this video, question 8. The question asks, where electrical installation work does not include the provision of a new circuit, nor the replacement of a distribution board or consumer unit, the certificate to be issued is... This is installation work, so the answer is in chapter 64. Looking at page 230, the contents page, we can see regulation 644, certification for initial verification. Here is regulation 644.4.201 on page 238. The correct answer is as shown in the pink box below. Minor Electrical Installation Works Certificate Answer C. Answer A looks OK, but it is not correct. This is not exactly what it says in the regulation. It must be Minor Electrical Installation Works Certificate. Answer C is our choice. You can help yourself massively by learning to use the contents pages. Remember that page 3 is the main contents page for the whole book and that most parts will also have their own contents pages. So too will many chapters. They will have their own contents pages as well. And you will find that for most questions the contents pages will get you to within one or two pages of the answer. And there we are. Hopefully this video has helped with your understanding and will improve your exam score. Watch the video again and our others on the 18th edition exam. Repetition is the key to learning and understanding. And when you do sit your exam, we wish you good luck. Thank you for watching. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos. And remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com and don't forget you can also type in learn electrics or one word into the youtube search bar so go directly to our channel at any time from any computer we are constantly adding new videos to our channel don't miss the next one and once again thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon